Rex, and I know it's not the results you were looking for, but what do you feel you all did good? And then what kind of turn there in that seventh inning there for you? Yeah, um, you know, obviously we had some some good outings for our pitchers. We had a, a good amount of guys get up there and compete on the mound. Um, we came out early and, uh, you know, got things started off early in the game. Um, you know, however, we got a little complacent, I'd say, and, um, you know, maybe didn't execute the game like we should have um, all nine innings. In terms of that execution, how difficult is it to take the fact that you had five earned runs in that seventh? Yeah, it's uh, it's not something you want to see. You know, if you if you're gonna give up runs, you know, you want it to be one or two. You don't want it to be a big inning like that. Um, so that's tough. Um, however, like I said, we had some some guys get up there and pitch well today, such as Pat. You know, um, aside from that that last inning, you know, he threw lights out tonight. Last one from me in terms of what you saw from Patrick season season best ten strikeouts. I guess what was he doing? Well, was it his fastball? Was it his curveball today? I guess what was working for him because the last three starts he hadn't gone past the fifth, and then all of a sudden you kind of saw this today. Um, it's not so much a single pitch. You know, Pat's got a, a whole arsenal of pitches, and you know when he can uh, utilize, you know, one or uh, when he can use utilize two or three, he's 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 really tough to hit. And um, I'd say that's kind of what came together tonight for him. And um, yeah, you saw the results. Sorry, I got muted. Coach, I know obviously uh, not the result you wanted, but just to kind of see at least a positive start from Patrick minus that last inning, I guess, just from your perspective, what did you like from the feedback you got from him tonight? I mean, really, you're talking about one ball was hit hard, I think, even in his last inning, the double down the left field line. and. Uh, Thought he ball threw the ball extremely well and very proud of him. And uh, you know, he uh it's probably a bounce back start for him after last week. And uh that's what we're gonna need to see out of him. In terms of that seventh inning, is it tough to look at? I know obviously you don't want to have a crooked number, but that five of them were unearned. Um, well, I'll tell you, I mean, I I would tell you they earned them off sub. I mean, uh as far, as far as the ball going off the wall, that's to me, that's that ball's hit awful well. Um, I mean, I think you can reflect back and you can appreciate how easy subs made things look at times in the same type of situation. And uh, it's about executing pitches, it's not about the results that happen. And, um, you know, Messenger put a good swing on the ball that, you know, gave them, I think, two runs. Was it a bases clearing double? Uh, it was at least two. And uh, and those kids that were before him had good at bats. I know he came back and got one guy to full count. And those guys laid off some tough pitches. Last one for me in terms of uh, just the message. I know you still have two more games to play, obviously some more. Uh, baseball to be played, but just what would you tell the guys today, especially after a, a, a an opener where you, you almost feel like you wasted a, a really good start from Patrick, essentially? Yeah, the biggest thing is we just got to make each day count and we got to keep evolving as a baseball team and as individuals. And um, obviously this game's very challenging mentally and physically. And um, the challenge of playing nine innings is something I think that we're still learning and working on. And uh, individually, obviously, guys always have things to work on the physical side of it.